Greetings friends, welcome. Today we're looking at responsive design with Tailwind. So we want to be able to say show a certain element on bigger screens and hide it and show a different element on smaller screens. So the example we've got here is I've got I've got a bit of text here, show me on large screen only. So you can see it's wrapping at the moment. So we would maybe only want to show that verbose text on a desktop. And then when we're on a tablet or a mobile or just anything smaller, we want to literally um, flip out and show this text instead. So rather than just making this smaller or manipulating it, we've got two different elements. I've got two divs here and I want to show one, hide the other, depending on the screen size. Uh, before we jump in though, if you find yourself enjoying the video, feel free to click that subscribe below. You'll get updates for future videos. Okay, so, oh, and I've got Tailwind running in the background. If you've not, tail, not set up Tailwind before, uh, put a link to that here, and I'll show you how to set that up. All right, so this text here, let's jump in. We want to hide, well, by, yeah, by default, we want to hide this. So we can use the Tailwind um, in visible by default. So if I save that off, we should see it disappear. And then we can use the conditional breakpoint in Tailwind. So we're going to use large. And there we want to say, right, I now want it to be visible. And that will override this. Uh, so if I refresh in here now and expand this out, we should see, yeah, once we get to a large size, which I think is about a thousand pixels, that then kicks in and it becomes visible. And if I shrink it back down again, it disappears. Right, and we can't, so then we'd want the opposite for this. So if I come in here, I would say class. So by default, we would want it visible this time. And when we get to large, we want it to be invisible, right? So, so literally the opposite. Right, so yep, we're on small screen, that's visible. I expand it out and that one becomes invisible and this one becomes visible once we're on the, on the screen. And if I shrink this back down, We'll see the opposite happens again. Now, so behind the scenes, the CSS that this is using uh, is using the visibility tag. Uh, and that still leaves the element in the DOM, which is why we've got this, this gap down here. So it's not, it's not really flipping the element as we would like. I would like this to be back up the top here. Um, and so for that, we need to use behind the scenes display none. And the tag for that in uh, Tailwind is hidden. So where we say invisible, let's replace that with hidden. Um, and so invisible down here as well, we'll replace with hidden. I'll get rid of my break because we want them to literally be on the same spot. Now, with visible, it was invisible, but it's not with hidden, the opposite here is going to be um, block. So we're going to change visible to be block. And if I save that off, we should now see this moves up to the top because this, this is now literally removing it from the DOM rather than just making it invisible. Uh, when you make it invisible, it still takes up space. Right, but that looks nicer now. So we've got a small screen and it's where we expect it to be. And then when I expand this out, we're now getting show on the large screen and it's, and it's it looks as though it's flipping it out a lot better. It's just replacing it there as we go. Okay, so that looks good. All right, so there you go. Hope that was interesting. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if not. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye.